I'll launch the opening shot now. Then move in. <laughs> Lightning style. Black Panther. Ooh. <laughs> oh shit. Yo. Is that Marvel? <laughs> oh. Oh, that is sick, bro. Oh, Oh, that's DC. Damn, son. That show was cool as fuck. That is yeah, sick, bro. That's pretty sick. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Narrow World. Yeah. Hey y'all, welcome back to Never Bored. I'm your host, George, and my co-host here. Alan. Jason. And today we'll continue our series, Never Bored, Naruto Shippuden. We've all seen Naruto, but these boys haven't seen Shippuden, so you're gonna get their gender reaction. I'm sure because I love this show overall. Last time over Naruto Shippuden, we saw a great emotional battle between Kakashi and Sabuza and Haku as well, bringing them back from part one, reanimated. Crazy to see that. We got to see some of Shikaku's, Shikamaru's dad's, better uh, skills, his, his, tacti his being a great tactician as well. Crazy to see that as well. And then finally we got teases of seeing the reanimated Kage come back. I hope this next episode is going to be jam-packed. A lot of action and excitement for you guys. Some emotion as well, hopefully. So guys, without further ado, here's a reaction. Naruto Shippuden episodes 268 through 270. No filler. Oh, the daimyo, the feudal lords. No, no, what's the harm, really? In fact, we should bestow upon the meritorious honors once the war is over. Well, let's see. What do you suppose that we should call such decorations? Oh, great. This freaking guy is... Is this the place? He's gonna kill them. When is someone gonna kill that dude, bro? You know, it isn't unheard of for feudal lords such as myself to end up as hostages during times of war. <laughs> and it remains the duty of our shinobi to guarantee our safety. Of course. This is exactly why I'm here escorting you, feudal lord. Even Kage escorting you. <laughs> we frost. should be reaching your safe house shortly. Feudal lord is just a fancy word for landlord, you know? Basically. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Well, what was that noise? Anything at all, did you? Keep them away from the feudal lords! Oh shit. They're done. Bro, how do you let him just okay? Oh, oh good. Oh shit. Oh I don't think a net is gonna do anything. Damn, <laughs> bro, this is like some So this wasn't it, was it? Excellent. Surprise attack. Okay. Uh. Hey man, you be a good soldier, good instincts. <laughs> Those fools, they underestimate me. I am Black Zetsu. <laughs> this man just traveling through Bro, the trees. Oh, somebody need to freaking like kill this guy. He's so annoying, dude. That's what I think about Kabuto. <laughs> dude. This land is me. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Jar's fucking standing on the water. Jeez, bro, look how it's it dull. But I guess I'll have to show them why I'm the one that's been assigned to guard the coastline. I'll launch the opening shot now. Then move in. <laughs> Lightning style. Black Panther! <laughs> oh shit! Yo! Is that Marvel? <laughs> oh! Oh, that is sick, bro. Oh, that's DC. Damn, son. That show was cool as fuck. That is sick, bro. That's pretty sick. Any wallpapers of that, bro? Send that over. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, 10 10. Oh, hell yeah. Keep attacking, don't let up! Damn, we're just fucking yeah. broke shit. <laughs> they come back to life too, please. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Oh, oh my god. no. Oh my god. It's almost like. No. No. This really is a great ninja war. Oh, dude. Let's go, mains. It's Chosa. Is it really? Yes, I see. You're all grown up, Chosa. <laughs> That's right. And guess what? I'm about to grow even bigger. Let's go. Release. They've tried rotation. Oh my God, dude. What, bro? Like father, like son, bro. Edgy's dad really out here. Ah. <sighs> oh my God, bro. My brother. In the end, it appears that even my decision to sacrifice myself for the sake of the village has been negated. I ask you, please give Neji a message for me. Tell him that I did not make this sacrifice to merely protect the head family, but for my siblings, family, and village. So by my own free will, I chose death, and in doing so, I chose my own freedom. But no such fate exists. Your very own son has been fighting hard to demonstrate just that. And my daughter has too. Neji, and Lady Hinata. Hinata. <laughs> No end to this. Woo! Yo, back up. <laughs> Are you doing all right, Neji? Yes. Thank you, Hinata. Let's go. Cuz oh. The branch family doesn't live to protect and serve the main family anymore. Ooh. We protect each other as equals now. Yeah. Yo, progress, baby. Quality, baby. It's actually come Let's to pass. go. Then hear me, brother. That is all the more reason that I wish to fall by your hand. Oh. Oh. Hey, watch it! Oh. I was moving around and making me feel sick! All of you are completely heartless! Just be quiet. Keep it up and I'll be happy to seal that mouth shut too. I'm not into SM. <laughs> Let me out what here you and I'll show you what S real art is. SM. <laughs> so annoying. Oh my god. They make freaky in the ninja world, huh? We stopped. <laughs> you as well, Granny Chio? <laughs> Damn, bro. Well, Conkoro, <laughs> that was very nicely done. It appears that you've managed to outdo Sasori. You're stuck in there precisely so that you can't explode. <laughs> Explosive style, boy. <laughs> Explosive style. Yeah, I guess you're right about that. But you don't have to put it that way! <laughs> I consider both the Akatsuki and the Shinobi of the five great nations to be my enemies. <laughs> I don't really care to help either of you. But with this disgusting jutsu controlling me, my body moves against its will. The reanimation jutsu again. As if Granny Chio weren't dangerous enough, these guys are pretty scary too. It sure doesn't help that we split up our fighting force. Yeah, they don't got the firepower, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'll flush your blood too. <laughs> that shit not good. <laughs> Plus, they're the commando unit, bro. Yeah. Transmit them to the front. Get the plans to the captains. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Kitsuchi, we just had word come in from HQ. We have new tactical orders. Tell me, and be quick about it. Supposedly, the enemy has a shinobi who possesses the Keke Tota, which Ooh. surpasses the Keke Genkai. What the Keke Tota? Are you sure about that? Keke Tota? What are they talking about? Do you know Matsuri? No, I've never heard of it before. How do you expect to defend yourself against the Kake Tota if you know nothing about it? I'm sorry. Hmm. Forgive me, Tamari. They got kids fighting, bro. What? But, um, it's war, bro. Now, can you tell us what exactly the Kake Tota is? Give me a break. You young ones really don't know anything at all, do you? The Kake Tota is. Uh, <laughs> oh. Tota gotcha. You is don't what? even. What? Come on, tell them. Shikamaru, go <laughs> on, explain this to them. What? Why me? You know why. I'm not good at these kinds of things. Just explain it already. 
Whipped. Damn it. He's whipped. You know, I'm the one who's supposed to be giving the orders around here. Some shinobi are different. They're born with two chakra natures. They're able to fuse those two chakras, and by doing so, create new chakra. Damn. They are known as Keke Genkai Shinobi. Captain Yamato's wood style is a combination of water and earth chakra, isn't that right? Yeah, it is. And another example is Captain Darui, who's now leading the first company. His gale style is a combination of lightning and water chakra. Mm. Got it? Those guys are all shinobi who possess very rare jutsu styles. Yeah, that's right. But even stronger than the Keke Genkai is what we call the Keke Toto, in which three chakra natures are fused together. Huh? What? Three of them? Really? It's almost beyond belief, and it's very rare. So rare, in fact, that of all the shinobi in all the nations, I only know one. But the enemy has the reanimation jutsu. And they brought back a long dead Keke Tota Shinobi. He uses particle style. He's Mu, oh. the second Tsuchikage. We've been graced by the presence of a rare ally who possesses Keke Tota. Ah, I see. You didn't need to get up. Proper reinforcements. You're the one who lit the fire beneath me. Shit. Corpses, jeez, bro. Oh, oh shit. my goodness, bro. Bro, imagine homie got fucking spice to him. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh shit, Yo. bro. The fatty cake. Oh. <laughs> Black Panther. That's so cool. Black Lightning. Mm -hmm. Black. <laughs> The oh, he probably has it too, right? He has the tattoo. You know what I mean? He's got the whiskers. I'm oh, sorry should be. You shame, Lords Kinkaku and Ginkaku. It's also Kinkaku hard for King me to decide oh, the two ways of light. The nine tail people. You know who else has whiskers like that? Take a look at his left shoulder. Oh. The the tats. This kid wearing the third Raikage's lightning mark. I'm afraid that I might even oh, end up stripping away the shine from your gold and silver. With just a single strike of my chaos style, no will be done. Let's run it, bro. Come on. Ah. Oh. Uh, Stupid ch scene changes, bro. I don't care about what's going on around the world. Just show me. <sighs> so annoying, dude. Oh, what do you mean for real? Just pacing. <laughs> he wants to go out there and fight, I bet. Just calm down, Raikage. You're Supreme Commander, remember? You don't know just how fearsome the Gold and Silver Brothers are! But those two remain the most reviled criminals in the whole history of the Hidden Cloud. Oh, shit. A while back, at the formal ceremony to cement our alliance with the Leaf, they staged a coup and launched attacks against both the Second Raikage and Second Hokage. They wielded the five treasured tools of the Sage of the Six Paths. Oh. And they drove the Second Hokage to the brink of death. But I'd never heard that they possessed the Nine Tails Chakra. Yes, well, years ago, it seems that the Hidden Cloud made an attempt to go and capture the Nine Tails. And during that venture, the Nine Tails devoured both of the Gold and Silver Brothers. Oh, shit. <laughs> Just ate him? Yeah. Alright. But they were so unruly, thrashing around in his belly, that the Nine Tails couldn't stand it. So he vomited them both back up. Since then, they've both borne the Nine Tails chakra. Not surprising. They were inside the Nine Tails for more than two weeks. No ordinary human can wield those tools. They drain away chakra and massive amounts of it. So most who try die. Except for someone who harvests the Nine Tails chakra like those two monsters do. There's Shinobi with enormous fiendish chakra who wreak havoc wherever they go. And they fear nothing, not even the Nine Tails. So what really scares me about them is the thought of all of our subordinates having to face both of them in battle. It's almost as if our comrades have never even heard of us before. 
If you two are actually the Golden Silver Brothers we read about in our history books, <laughs> then I'd rather not be called your comrade. It isn't cool. <laughs> the usually cool-headed lady is feeling red hot today, I see. Those two really must be something. Oh. Oh my god. Let's do this, Kinkaku! Sure thing, Kinkaku. Hold up, are those? There's no doubt. Those must be the Gold and Silver Brothers ninja tools that we learned about years ago. And Bashosen, the leaf fan, conjures up all five chakra natures. Oh my god. It's quite a lecture. And I really hate to interrupt, but. I got this. Cloud style, flame slice! <laughs> Those ninja tools may be flashy, but they're still only tools. They don't stand a chance against our ninjutsu that's fueled by our oh. blazing hot souls. No, Gotta get killed. Wait, just stay cool and let me finish. Uh, he's too hot here. <laughs> they talk too much. This will be just perfect. Just leave the others to me. He avoids my hot fighting spirit to attack Darui instead? <laughs> you really think you can escape my hot attack by putting these guys in between us? Oh. And pay attention to what's going on, Atsui. Oh, bro, what are you? Atsui, Samu, you guys all right? Don't look away when you're fighting me, you brat. Damn. Change places, Kinkaku. Right, Kinkaku. <laughs> I think it's time we squeeze him, Cooking Joe. <laughs> Oh no, bro. Ew! What is this? What's happening? Cooking Joe here on my left arm squeezes out the spirit word of whoever touches it. Curse them! She treats a kid! No. What is that? The spirit word. Now record them! Benny Misako! Too bad that we're not done with you. It's our turn now, and we're gonna... You should have let me finish my explanation. Matsui and I have a cursed jutsu and sealing jutsu cast against us. Our spirit words have been taken hostage. And that means, the next time we utter the word or phrase that we've said most since birth, we'll be pulled into that gourd and sealed away inside. My, my, aren't we knowledgeable? Seems that as time passed, all sorts of secrets have been revealed. What is it? What's the hot word that I say most often? What could it be? You shouldn't need to think so hard. It's pretty obvious. Uh, scroll of fire! Uh. Damn. Ah, it's so hot! <laughs> oh. It's so hot? Really? Damn, he's an idiot, bro. Did you pay attention? Oh. Oh. You know, there's an old saying that silence is golden. The tongue is a source of misfortune, right, Kinkaku? Yeah, Kinkaku. This is what happens when you can't shut up. Words are merely tools, and people use them to trick each other through lies. Hmm? I'm sorry. Some way. Yeah! Oh. Hey, nice. As I expected, you've both proven yourselves to be true hidden cloud shinobi. Gale style. Oh. Like the circus. Fast. Oh. That is precision ninjutsu. Oh. Don't you underestimate us, Brad. Oh, he touched oh. him. Good job hitting him with the Koken Joe Kikaku. No. This one's first, though. Wait, what? Oh. Was she thinking it? Oh, shit. No. I think I know what my forbidden word is. The little beat dumb. This is all getting sucked up. Damn.
you can get trapped if you're silent for too long too. Mm. Am I right? Sharp of you to notice. Damn. I think you're the first person ever to figure that out. You're a smart one then. But just a little while ago, you told us all that silence is golden. But sometimes speech is golden. Successful deceit is the truest proof of eloquence. And in this Damn. case, silence is prohibited. It's the most forbidden taboo. <laughs> Damn, you fucking are smarter than Didn't <laughs> I just tell you? Words are merely tools that people use to trick each other. Nothing more. In the shinobi world, deceit and betrayal are acceptable battle tactics. Words are ninja tools, too. I'm no fake. I'm the boss's right-hand man. You will indulge me. Ah, a Ginkaku. What is it, Ginkaku? Get Benny Isak already. <laughs> but why? I didn't even say the word dog. Uh, oh. I'm no fake. I'm the boss's right-hand man. You will indulge me. Oh. Wait, I get it now. I said you will indulge me. That word, indulge. Indulge. Go. No. Oh. <laughs> Damn it. Even technical. Darwin, I want you to be an Allied Forces company captain. You will be my right hand man. I'm so sorry, boss. I wish I could say I'm sorry to everyone. We should probably join the fight, Kinkaku. All right, Kinkaku. What? How the hell? What? Did you just shadow clone? Nah. Oh, what? I touched the cooking Joe. Why wasn't he trapped? His word changed. Oh. And he got the tools now, too. I, I'm sorry about the desk in the wall there. I'm sorry. It's, it's I'm sorry. It's yeah. I, I, it's also hard for me to dishonor the two rays of light among the clouds. Atsumi, I'm really sorry. Damn. I guess that means I'm a pretty humble guy. <laughs> That's not a bad thing at all. Oh, yeah. I know his word was dull. I'm so sorry, boss. I'm sorry. Some Atsumi, I wish I could say I'm sorry to everyone. Do you really mean to tell me that his most uttered and second most uttered words switched their orders while he was getting pulled into the gourd? Oh. <laughs> Oh, yeah, he going in. Yeah, cut that shit. Yeah. All right, now record it. Benny Hisako. I think I'm doing this right so far. <laughs> what? How dare you? They really do knock the chalk out of you. Yeah, you're right. It's true that words may be tools that people use to trick each other. But when it really counts, the spoken word. Because, after all, I've got two perfectly good right arms already. This one. And you, Daru. Sometimes the spoken word can actually be a really precious thing that's able to relay the truth. I need your help, Kinkaku! And that's the exact reason that I'm going to seal you right now. Damn. I think that was his word, his brother. That's hilarious. One down. One to go. <coughs> All the nine tail. Oh. Ooh. Why you? You whelp! How dare you! Oh, bro, the night. <laughs> oh, my yeah, he God. Got two, he got version 2 cloak on, too. Hey, yo. No. Whoa. That thing look kind of big, bro. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, this one juiced. Oh. How dare you do such a thing to King Kaku? You're going to pay. Just like the Nine Tails Jujuriki. Jesus Christ, bro. Yo, that thing's on crack, dude. Jeez. Oh, they can't even see it? Wow. Is that fucking steaming the work? Oh my god, fucking. 
Holy shit, bro. It's been quite a while since I've seen that happen to King Kaku. That means King Kaku is a god. Oh, Naruto. Oh, bro. The red and blue balance of your tail beast chakra looks good to go. So do it, Naruto. Here I go. Tail beast Russian. Hey, yo. Huh? Oh, he could. I think he censored. Oh. Think about it. He's in nine tail shocker mode right now. Yeah. That time you were so close. It's too bad. Why'd you lose your focus? It's so sad. What the hell was that just now? <laughs> well, that's interesting. Oh my god. Man, this is really not good. <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh, oh my Jeez. god. Oh, oh wow, dude, he's that's, holding it. Dude, that's how big it is, though. That he's got. What's that? Is he a Jinchuriki? Now that we're allies, I believe it's about time that you knew the whole story. <laughs> Long before Madara Uchiha tamed the Nine Tails, a hidden cloud put together a mission to try to capture that cataclysmic force. That's when the Nine Tails devoured Lords Kinkaku and Kinkaku. Kinkaku and Kinkaku. And then, after two weeks, he expelled them. What expelled them? You mean for his behind? Come on, show <laughs> some respect and contact HQ immediately. We need to know how to counter that. Right, sure. They've caught Kinkaku. One of the enemy's strongmen. But it seems King Kaku has donned the Nine Tails cloak and is running a mock. The time's come, Mabui. Start preparations. Right. If King Kaku has transformed, we can't stop him. He has a Nine Tails cloak? Even if he does possess the Nine Tails chakra, how can he undergo Tailed Beast transformation? They were inside of the Nine Tails for two weeks. And supposedly they survived by eating the Nine Tails stomach lining. Oh! No one has ever eaten the Nine Tails chopper rich flesh. That's grody. No, That's weird. Actually, I take that back. I've heard that some in the cloud tried to copy defeat by eating the Eight Tails legs, but they all died without becoming Jinchuriki. Those two brothers are special. Perhaps they're direct descendants of the Sage of the Six Paths. Holy oh. shit! All right, so what do we have to do to take him down? There is only one way. It's true King Kaku has enormous chakra and power. That fact's undeniable. However, we can still use their fifth and final treasure tool against them. If I could just seal him away in the gourd too. But I need Kokinjo to squeeze out his spirit word. And I can't see the rope on his arm while he's covered by the nine tails cloak. I can't get it. Sir, a message. HQ sending you the Kohaku no Joy, the amber purification jar. I see. Thank you. It'll be way better than this gourd. This is the Kohaku no Johi, one of the five treasure tools. It was used to seal away the eight tails. All you do is say the target's name, and if they respond, their voice is recorded and they're trapped inside. Mm. <laughs> it's all we can take from the gold and silver brothers. We'll send it to Darby so he can seal Kinkaku. But the situation is urgent. It'll take too long to transport this. Lord Rakagi, everything's ready. I can send it to Darwin now. Mabui's jutsu is object teleportation, which moves oh, at the wow. speed of light. Oh. It's the reason why she's my secretary. But if that used to be one of their ninja tools, I'm sure he knows how to counter it as well. So we need to figure out the best way to make him respond. Any strategy that you come up with is sure to work. You handle it. Go oh. on, Mabui. Ethereal transmission jutsu. Make sure you get him, Darwin. We've both got exceptional subordinates, don't we, Tsunade? You got that right. Here he is. Nice. The Kohaku no Joey. That used to be ours. I see. They're going to try to seal your way, are they? Well, HQ came up with a strategy. Until I know what it is, I'll just keep this safe. Oh shit. Don't tell me. Damn, bro. Sorry about that. <laughs> but I can't afford to let you catch me. Oh. 
Damn, some brake souls. Woo! All right. Hey, yo. Oh. I'm sorry about this. Black. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Oh my god. He's gonna break out of it, right? You think we did it? No. <laughs> Come on, bro. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh my Shit. dude. Yo. Oh my god. Bro. Oh. oh he just dude, he doesn't care, but look at this man. Tenta's like the fuck am I supposed to be? Take him down? Like one man? A of fire. Water. Earth and lightning styles had no effect. Darui. Uh, it's Shikaku from headquarters. Listen up. I've been waiting to hear from you. <laughs> you have the Kohaku no Johei, right? For this plan to be successful, the Inoshika Cho formation is absolutely critical. Please, hold on until we get there. Inoshika Cho. But Shikaku and Inuichi are still at HQ. They're so far away, and we've lost so many men already. Oh my oh, god. Lord, it's such a tall order. Us. Oh shit. Oh, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Boom. Oh. oh. Yeah. Reinforcements. Oh, they're, here. So, they're waiting for Eno, Shikamaru, and Choji. Well, they're waiting for Eno, Shikamaru. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is the formation for the, the three families, so. HQ has a plan. Great. We'll strike at Kinkaku with the Ino Shikacho formation. Until they get here, we have to hold oh, this location! <laughs> They're on their way right now? Then there's no way we'll fail to hold this line! Shikamaru, Choji, Ino, listen up. <laughs> The I'm squad. Be talking directly to you via Inuichi's jutsu. Listen closely to what I'm about to tell you. You're right, though. Okay, okay. I, I thought I said something really stupid. So that's the plan, huh? So we're supposed to fight this legendary monster, Kinkaku, who nearly killed the second Hokage. Things are becoming a real drag. Oh, man. I'm getting scared. Bro, oh. Hold on. You boys better not wimp out on me. Legends become exaggerated over time. And when an old legend is surpassed, new legends are born. God damn, bro. They have the nine tails power, but we have the power of the Inoshika. Oh, look at that! The family lineup. The teamwork ninjutsu of Inoshika Cho is one of the most celebrated legends in and of itself. I'm excited. Let's so let's see. Oh my god, dude. So how is Shikamaru gonna react when he sees Asuma Sensei? Sorry, we're late. So that's him. Oh. How could he do all of this? Yeah. 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 So, uh, do you get the feeling there's a lot of hope riding on us now? <laughs> that's the kind of people we've become. It's making me kind of nervous, though. Well, I guess we're just gonna have to live up to their expectations. Hey, wait, they're just the kids, not the real Eno oh, Really? <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured they might say that. I did too. Hey, come on now. We're going to start a legend of our very own right here. Okay. So let's get going, guys. Yeah, I heard that. Mm hmm. Everyone, cover them! <laughs> Third rate number one. Woo! Come on. You're a As if you could bring me down. 
Oh! Oh, yo! Oh, damn. Choji! Oh, shit! Oh, oh! Oh, damn. damn! Yo, watch out! Oh shit! Wait, what? Oh! All right. Ha. Oh! Gold or silver alone. You may be gold, but it seems that you are only fool's gold. Oh, That's so <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> okay. Sorry, but I told you I was going to strip away your gold coating. <laughs> Seal. Nice. I think I must have sweated off 50 pounds from all that. Well, if that's all, then you're fine. <laughs> you look exactly the same to me, Chuchi. No! <laughs> planned. Nice. No. Good work, Chuchi. <laughs> Eno, you've gotten much better at your speed and with your control over the mind trick. Yeah, she sniped that shit, bro. Unit 6 through 10, you help the injured get to the rear. And the rest of you follow me! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, we get them little trembling a little bit. I see the way coking gel, the rope that squeezes out spirit words along with Kinkaku. So we can't use the other two ninja tools. Damn. But where'd the bushes and van go? Let's go. Already? Come on, get up. <laughs> nice. Oh, I thought it was going to be <laughs> awesome. So, like, I remember this guy. Yeah. yeah. Long time He's the guy that murked him. Shikacho, brats. If I remember correctly, you're Kakuzu. We took the keen. The gold shogi general is ours, and we know the moves. Of Kaku the bishop, you're good, so we'll attack. The brat who uses shadows. <laughs> your being here means only one thing. You must have taken down Edan. <laughs> Did he get his head chopped off again while he was praying? <laughs> or since he's not here, does that mean he's still alive out there somewhere? Who even cares if he's dead or alive? Hmm. So I'm on defense with no rook and my gold and silver generals taken. Oh, oh my god. As this one Yo! Goes. Okay, yeah, that's kind of... Remember, his heart's in chocolate nature. Yeah, but... That's right. oh. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> not the animals again. Oh. By the way, we've got our own gold and silver shogi pieces taken from your side too. Don't you want to know who they are? Oh. Uh. Lady Tsunade's love, Don Kato, and also. Ha <laughs> Son of the third Hokage, Asuma Sarajiro. Bro. Asuma Sensei. Damn. Oh shit. Thank you guys for staying subscribed and viewing our content. And you guys have been staying so engaged with the channel. So we want to take the time to answer some of the questions and matches, matchups that you've had in the comments. I hope I'm not pronouncing your name wrong. Please forgive me if I do. Lee Kong, thank you for your question this week. 
Guys, today we're going to be going over Orochimaru versus Jiraiya. Now, guys, what's great about this is both these both these guys have so much similarities. They were both the students of the third Hokage, and they both got murked by their students before uh, they, they you know before they hit their afterlife. Uh, but before that, though, they were known as legendary Sani, and they were legends because of their notoriety and power. And let's talk about it, bro, because. What's great about it is that both these, like I said, they're both legendary Sani, students of the third, but throughout the series, they've been some of the most notoriously strong characters in the series. Let's start with who's introduced first, guys. Orochimaru, when he's introduced, his, his quest for immortality was insane. The man was able to find a way to take his soul out of his body and switch it into new bodies, as we mm. saw with the whole plot with Sasuke. But because of that as well, he fought the third Hokage nearly to a stance, though killed him, essentially, mm -hmm. but at the cost, lost his arms in his jutsu. However, we see him throughout shipping as well. He's slowly getting weaker at that point because he lost his arms and needed a new reincarnated body. But even though, even besides that, he was still not notarized and feared, he's also a former Akatsuki member as well, meaning he does have his credentials in there. He, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with a lot of crazy ninja as well. But guys, then we also have Jiraiya as well, who is known as a crazy, epic, pervy sage, guys. Mm -hmm. He's no. He's a reason why when he was first introduced, he was seen goofy guy. But then, as we see later in the series, he's notoriety and feared. One of our first feats I remember was that when he confronts Itachi and Kasama when they try to kidnap Naruto, Itachi's like, "Hey, bro, Kasama, don't mess with him, bro, because he's actually real dangerous. He won't get the battle unscathed." <laughs> And because of that, we kind of see later on that he knows the Rasengan summoning Jutsu. But on top of that, towards the end of the series, him fighting against Orochimaru at the end of Naruto when they find Tsunade. But also entering Sage Mode and having those feats against some of the pains as well was instrumental in finding out, finding out the secret of pain as well. It was one of the best espionage ninjas out there specializing in spying and recruiting. But guys, I kind of set the stage for it. Just so you know, I guess we're assuming for this battle, let's assume Jiraiya is fighting into this battle, going in with Sage Mode, and also Orochimaru isn't having his, his Jutsu robbed from him when he got the third Hokage took his arms to the Reaper Dead Seal. So Orochimaru has his Jutsu, and uh, let's say he has a decent body, fresh body, not necessarily Sasuke's body, which is his goal. He didn't get Sasuke's body, so we're not going to do yeah, that. Yeah. But let's just say he got a, a different body, he's not handicapped, and Jiraiya can access, he got Sage Mode, can summon Ma Pa Toad, Give me the stage, set the stage. Who's gonna win this fight? Who is gonna be the one on top? Let's go. Both uh, Dry and Rochimaru are, you know, like the perfect examples of like, you know, the proper guidance can mm -hmm. lead into either a very good cause or a very negative cause. Yeah. Both the students of the third Hokage. And um, you see one goes down a great path and one goes down a really bad path. Mm -hmm. And, um, yeah, you're right. There is a reason why they're called the legendary Sani. You know, they're very powerful. They both have students that are also insanely powerful. Yeah. At this point, could be more powerful than they are now. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, I, I, I could say it, that. It, so it says that like it shows a lot how how much of an effect they have on on the Shinobi world. Mm -hmm. Um, personally for me, even though Orochimaru is very very powerful, um, he takes a lot of measures to make him to get the upper hand i still believe that your eyes will come out on top Ooh, okay can you tell me why you would think that like if we okay first it, what i would say like look at their students look at who he, who he's had he had pain um mm -hmm. and you know Nagato, True, Nagato, uh, yeah he had Yaiko pain and um he had minato yeah and naruto so, yeah those and, are some uh, good students and you know look, look at these students like like you have like some of the you literally have a a, a hokage as yeah. one of your students yeah true okay true. like and then you have probably someone who might be a hokage i don't know you know we'll see how the story goes but like this guy this you know the son of your student which is also your student is also yeah and you're right in terms of the aspects of the students both minato and naruto were considered like the saviors or whatever and i mean hey jiraiya did raise some pretty good students i mean to be fair though he did get got by nagato slash pain at the end but to be <laughs> fair who we'll, we'll rather was that, to go was that was that entirely Jiraiya's fault okay no a little bit yes but that's not on him i mean that's not on him for trying to survive you're right yeah he, no he, i'm he, saying it's not his fault that like they became no, bad. you're right, you're right. Part of it, yeah, the subject of the cycle of hatred and all that shit too. Yeah, you're 100% I mean, right. In a way, it is though also because he he let the, the children go. He was like, hey, I have to go. He didn't keep, he, you know, they, they were the pain people, or not the people, but like the people that he helped, they were 
good kids. They were good kids at the end. Yeah. When, when after Jirai trained them and all that. Yeah. And Jirai left them. Yeah. And he he didn't take them with him. He could have easily, or maybe not easily, but he. The right thing would have been to take them with him to back to the the, the leaf the leaf village. True. Because then he could have you know, we wouldn't even be in that scenario. Of, you know the pain and all that. Like I don't think any of that would have happened if he had just taken them with him because they were art they were bad kids in the beginning, acting up, doing all these things, stealing stuff. But then Jirai took them in, trained them, helped them, you know, be able to protect themselves. But then he left them after. Well, this you can tie this in with parenting, right? Yeah. You're gonna you you give someone the tools to become better. He gave them the tools. That he gave them. You taught them how to become better people, how to be stronger people, and then eventually when these kids, kids students get older they have to be on their own and i don't be, think they were there yet well to be fair they were, like, they were pretty was, young remember, so. to be fair this was during the war warring periods right yeah. and he did train to survive in the warring period and remember he technically was jirai was te i guess technically an enemy fighting them but he he gave him sympathy to train them and remember to, remember the only time they went bad is when after yahiko got killed by uh you know the the Hanzo and the Ambu right. thing, right? And but, I think that's when we saw the rise of like, okay, pain them going bad. Right. So I would attribute, you know, them going good or bad. Really, that's again, that's the cycle of pain. That's that's life happening to them. Though. Yeah. In terms of quality of students, I would agree that like Jiraiya did is a fantastic and phenomenal teacher, right? I I, I could definitely see that. He yeah, almost so. died trying to train and coach Naruto. Naruto yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah. I mean, he did almost die because he did when he they tried to loosen the seal for naruto he did almost get murked so that yeah, yeah that was that was crazy so i mean enough to almost die for soon that's crazy while orochimaru is trying to kill us too at the end oh no it definitely take his, definitely take, more, take his buddy, yeah. more self serving and kind of a little too touchy feely with the students too like <laughs> i remember in like in naruto itself like the first half of the show yeah he was doing a lot of licking and licking and <laughs> putting curse marks on <laughs> yeah this is true but and good teacher versus someone who doesn't really care about his students and would rather kill them to get a better edge yeah. true so. true but then here's the thing though then how does my question is then they anyone could be good teachers but what does that make in terms of fighting each other right because we know that back in the time when Orochimaru did try to defect, Jiraiya did try to get him back, and it failed. Which is what he tried to tell Naruto before they left to train during the time scheme. He was like, well, you're a fool for trying to go after him. I tried to do the same thing, it didn't work. But Naruto's like, I am a fool. I'm still, I care about Sasuke, and I still did it anyway. We don't know how that's going to work out, because, you know, Sasuke's still a rogue and everything. <laughs> only got worse. But we know that at least Jiraiya, at that time, wasn't strong enough to bring Orochimaru back to the village. Now, killing someone and then in a death battle versus trying to bring them back are two different things. So loud guys, I said let's start talking about sort of the skills, what kind of separates these then because Jason you have some No, I was gonna say it's kind of ironic because both of them died from their students. Yeah, yeah. So I would actually compare who's the stronger student. Like because if you put both of them together, I would also say Jiraiya would win. Okay. Like if, since we're if, since we're just gonna talk about like oh who's the stronger fighter or fight not fighter but mm -hmm. ninja or not did i say ninja what yes right they're oh, ninja, yeah. yeah um Orochimaru or jiraiya I, I think jiraiya would win I, I don't like it's just it's just one of those things where you know jiraiya has a lot more i feel like experience in battle yes where i feel like Orochimaru, on the other hand has been doing a lot of testing he's been more just trying to focus on making his body last longer from what i've seen i don't know well, well, remember, yeah. okay, I, I definitely see that Orochimaru's whole goal is definitely to, to be seek perfection and be and immortal. And just be and immortal, that. right. Truly immortal, right? But and has he really fought a lot? Like, really? Well, we saw him go against the third Hokage. And I, to be fair, this is what I'm going to bring up where yeah. I think you both say Jiraiya is gonna, could win. I'm going to have to disagree. And I think Orochimaru would take the cake. Oh. And I'm, I'm talking about just up to this point in the show. And the only reason why is because I preface with saying that, okay, Jiraiya gets Sage Mode which is definitely a huge plus, right? That gives him sensory boost. He doesn't, remember, he doesn't have perfect control of stage mode, but with Mom and Pa Toad, he has access to that sound genjutsu. Uh, but he also has enhanced strength. His Rasengans are definitely stronger. He has fire release as well. And he, and so he, he definitely has strength to him as well, right? He showed that, showcased that against pain. However, Orochimaru, um, at the time, right? I think if you include him getting his jutsu back, getting his hands back, I think he's, 
he went up against the third Hokage and almost killed him, right? Yeah, but pretty the third much. Hokage was pretty old, and he basically... No, he tried to, they tried to 3v1 him. Yeah, you're right in that Yeah, sense. and he got paralyzed from that. Like, yeah, he, he didn't get paralyzed, he lost his... His arms, yeah, yeah, well, yeah. yeah he couldn't use them for, he can't do any hand signs. You're right, right. he won't be able to cast proper jutsu. But then here's the one feat where I think separates it. Do you remember, you brought this up during this debate. Orochimaru and uh, Jiraiya almost died fighting Naruto when he almost unleashed his fourth tail. The Nar Orochimaru not even having access to his ninjutsu was able to pr pretty much stalemate the four tails of okay. Naruto. Yep. Yeah. And that he didn't need hand signs. He was just fucking slithering and slicing, slithering, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And he only did Rashomon summoning the three layers. So I, in terms of a concrete feat, Orochimaru. Well, didn't he also have help of Kabuto? No, remember Kabuto got sent out early in the fight. Remember Naruto roared in like his three tails saying Kabuto went flying. Remember oh, Sakura right. got bumped in the yes, head during that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think that that one feat for me kind of, again, that was Orochimaru before he's able to get his ninjutsu. Mm. And we know what he's like when he has his jutsu on him, right? If he can, if he can summon a reanimated shinobi to fight against someone like Jiraiya, you could have a situation where Jiraiya gets jumped again, you know, because that's how he lost that time. I think though Jiraiya's, Jiraiya definitely has a lot of more versatile jutsu we've seen in the series, but remember, Orochimaru's final form was this crazy eight serpent snake god thing that appeared. Okay, yeah, you know, now, that, now that but you But let mentioned. me ask you this. Okay. Isn't, but when Jiraiya got hurt, wasn't that because of, that was like in training mode, that wasn't like Jiraiya trying to fight Naruto. Yeah, you're right, but at the so same time, really he still like... almost died. He still should have almost died. And yeah, I, but I, not because he was expecting him, more because he was training him. No, he thought he could handle a four tails Naruto. Right, but not like, but if he was like trying to fight Naruto, like one on one with the four tail, then I feel like it'd be a little bit different. Maybe, but remember, Jiraiya straight up said like I almost died fighting the four tails, and Orochimaru got well, fighting or tr training with him. You try to release. Uh, it I get yourself. what you're saying. Yeah. No, you know I'm trying to say. No, I yeah. see what you're saying. It's the situation part. Yeah. Like, okay, because Naruto like. Again, he's not conscious when he's the four tails and dry. I just wanted to see if he could control it. Right. And as a result, he almost died. But Orochimaru got bisected, sliced up, shot at against the same four tails. And this four tails wasn't being suppressed either, right? This four tails was going ape shit and almost leveled up a freaking plane. So to be fair, Orochimaru, after that fight, had to be like, I need a fucking new body now, which is what triggered them to right. again, his start his plans with Sasuke up to that point. Mm -hmm. However, it, seeing that though, like if Jiraiya has Sage Mode, but Orochimaru has access to all his ninjutsu. Remember, he has been collecting and storing all this jutsu he's learned all this time. We haven't seen it as much, but again, like he's still strong enough to where it's like, if he was bold enough to remember, kill the Kazakage, mm -hmm. he was all, he again, he murked a previous Hokage, a, a Kazakage, took his body, whatever, he murked him, and on top of that, tried to go out for the third. And I think that. We could argue maybe the emotions of fighting his former master were there too, but also the fact that Orochimaru's own hubris got the better of him. He let the third Hokage use the reanim you know, the Reaper Death Seal, which was like kind of messed him up at that point too. All right. But ultimately, though, I still think that in terms of jutsu, what we've seen, the, don't get me wrong, Sage Mode is definitely there, but I just think that with Orochimaru's level of jutsu, right, he's able to fucking turn his body into like a weird snake thing at any moment just to get away from some of those attacks. He, he and if you if you try to kill him, he just does this weird substitution where he just comes out of his own body. I think that there's a lot of things that can prevent Jiraiya from actually doing a killing blow on Orochimaru. Where like Orochimaru designed himself to be so survivable mm. the, I, to the point. Honestly, the only thing that could that got him was the fact that he went up against Itachi, and, he, and then Itachi sealed him away. Mm. But I think besides that though, like if Jiraiya summons a creature, okay, Orochimaru can summon Manda. He can summon snakes that could counteract that. Which again, we saw him against fighting against Jiraiya when Naruto was trying to help Tsunade, right? And even then, Orochimaru didn't have his jutsu and he was still able to p paralyze Jiraiya for a little bit to the point where he thought he could kill Naruto right mm. after. I mean, yeah. Uh, I mean, like, it's not like even when he summons Ma and Pa, like, do they? Like, it's not like... Well, again, Ma and Pa were able to get, slice up that gecko or whatever and they add so much to his sentry and help him develop Yeah, Yeah, now, now that you... You know, now I'm seeing, like... Orochimaru does definitely has more in the back. Like he he's much more well equipped. Um, I just think that I might like, have to change my answer. I, I mean I don't know. I'm I'm just saying is like look since since like okay Jiraiya at the time right like it took him like distracting pain with and remember he went up against the pain that could summon he was already having a hard time which is why he went into sage mode and even then when he was in and sage he can't mode, even go into not properly he needs to get the chakra to summon mom pa do you, i don't know do you think a would even give him that amount of time no. per se so 
Wait, was he fighting just one pain, or was he fighting... He fought the first, the summoning pain, and then when he entered sage mode, the other pain showed up as well. Actually, okay, he, he, yeah, because once he, he, remember, the bull charged at him, he entered sage mode, knocked that bull off, and that's when the summoning pain summoned the absorber pain, and I think one of the mind reader pains, I mm. believe. I believe that the one of the other pains. And remember, Jiraiya had to like separate them all to like get the better of. That's what I'm saying. Jiraiya is very smart and strategic. That's the thing, though. I do want to hammer, hammer on that. Jiraiya reminds you a lot of Naruto in the sense like both are very cunning and strategic to the point where like even in his last breath, Jiraiya was still able to get the upper hand by writing down the code, and then ultimately because Jiraiya. I feel like Orochimaru is way too tunnel vision. You're right. Yeah, he definitely is too tunnel vision. And I, I agree because when he fought against Naruto when in the Four Tails, like his whole point was to suppress him. But even then, like once he realized that he couldn't, again, like he survived against the Four Tails proper. That's why I'm. That's my feet I'm giving for him. Right. Like he was able to go toe to toe to a point. However, if Naruto kept springing up tails, I don't know what would happen after that point. But I do think though that feat is definitely something that solidifies him. Jason, are you gonna say something? Uh, no. I was gonna ask you. So who do you think would win, uh, Pain or Sasuke? Oh, in terms of a student, oh, well, I were talking about up to the point because remember, once Orochimaru is dead, Sasuke just develops his Mangeki Sharing and everything by himself. Yeah, so I'm, we're I'm talking, talking about, about like Pain, right, yeah. Pain versus a curse mark Sasuke. I think Pain still probably wins. That's interesting because you picked Orochimaru. But Orochimaru, anyone, not the, everyone the, can teach the, as the well teach. as yes, but some just because someone can do, some you know, <laughs> they can't teach. Again, those one of those things that say those who can't do teach. Mm. Just because you're good. I mean, remember also, to be fair, Orochimaru got Sasuke to the point where, like, he could take on Yamato, a wood style user, Sakura, Sai, and Naruto, basically all by himself. That was even before he got stronger after the. After he, even before he got MS, or even before he absorbed Orochimaru. That was even before he was fought Itachi. He was able to go up to Naruto, suppress the Nine Tails, stab Yamato. Pushed Sai back and got Sakura being all fangirling her and was like was about to deck them all. And I was, remember he was going to kill them all with Kirin at the end of the day too. Remember he was going to like kill them all with Kirin until Orochimaru stopped him. Yeah. Yep. I have to change my answer. It's I think Orochimaru. Unfortunately, it, it I, may, I, again, I'm, I'm just presenting have... the facts here. However, remember. <laughs> Itachi was the one that said, "Bro, Kisama, if you try to fight Jiraiya, you're not going to go unscathed." I mean. If, if, if it was Orochimaru there, I mean, he would have probably been... Oh, I mean... Here's yeah. the thing, though. Jiraiya, what's great about his Jiraiya, well, I said it was cunning. Remember, we one of the feats I remember I love bringing up, too, is that, like, when he fought against Kisame and Itachi, he did something called Toad Mouth Trap, which he was able to bring in a, parts of a toad into an area where he summoned. The Fire Mountain Toad. And remember, the only thing that could break through the Fire Toad was uh, Itachi casting a Matarasu. He had to go straight up Mangekyo Sharingan uh, to just even free themselves from that. I'm not... Again, I'm not sure if Orochimaru has like an instant, like epic move, like a Matarasu to get out of something like that. But he might. I mean, he has a lot of in you know, a lot of stuff in the bag, like. So you're. I mean, I definitely agree. I mean, look. I mean, ultimately, it comes down to: Do you think that Jiraiya, at their strongest, right, Sage Mode Jiraiya, he could summon maybe two two big toes. I say two or three big toes. Can do Rasengan. Can he go up against Orochimaru on all his tricks? And on top of that, crazy super eight headed snake mode. That he had against Itachi, because Itachi only beat that because he had the sword of that seething sword in the Susano. If if Jirai was able to fully, you know, one thing that he couldn't do that Naruto can do was like fully take on Sage Mode, right? Yeah, perfect. So yeah. if Jirai could, then I would say maybe he has a chance, but I don't think so. I think Orochimaru would probably go up on top, unfortunately. Okay. I to say it, but okay, Jason. I don't know, I'm still sticking with Jiraiya. I, I just I think he's just sure. I mean, you guys brought up great points, but I don't know. I I just think Jiraiya has some of those like smarter techniques and just being able to outclass him in certain ways. Maybe not from just pure abilities, but just outclassing him in like. I think he's uh, a better teacher. Which I again like. You're I 100% agree. He literally taught Nagato, yeah. Yahiko, Konan, and they were all fucking premier top tier members of the Akatsuki. Minato. One of the best the Hokage's ever to do it. Fucking that homie was in a demon when we saw him yeah, debut, right? True. Went up against Madara slash Toby and fucking took him out with like less than no time. And ended up saving the village and sealing the nine tails, right? And obviously the goat Naruto coming through, right? Teaching that. But again, the but, question was who's the better teacher? Is the question is who in the battle of the death, mm. the fighter matches up. Up to this point, Naruto, who's gonna win? So Jason, bro, I'm this 
Alan kind of made his point. You make a point about them being good teachers, and I'm not saying that isn't invalid because, yeah. like, hey, like, if they're able to call up students, I'm like, who's students should I call up? And okay, there's Sasuke, some of the Sound Village, Kabuto. Hey, I'd rather call it Nagato, Naruto, Minato, you know, in terms of students for backup, right? I definitely would. My question is, though, who do you think would be the winner in a fight to the death? Yeah, you, you say Jiraiya? Yeah, I still say Jiraiya. I, I don't I mean, it, we, we can't see it, but I just think, I don't know, I just feel like if, I feel like Jiraiya could just pull something out. I mean, we saw Jiraiya lose, fighting till the end and losing, I mean, dying from his te from pain because he, you know, he literally battled so much just to get to that point. Like, he, it wasn't like he was just freshened up and going, or not freshened up, but like just going into battle all of a sudden. It was like he was already doing so much to get to that moment to and, fight pain. And then he did get jumped by three more pains yeah, after. Yeah, so it wasn't like. I mean, know, I do agree though that with if Orochimaru isn't careful, he could get caught by some of the, the Sage Mode Genjutsu, which is like, remember, Jiraiya, if he didn't know about the other three pains, he did kill three pains beforehand. Yeah. Up until that point, he did get murked. And so. then Sasuke, like, I mean, uh, Orochimaru, you just got straight murked by Sasuke. Yeah, he but, did. Yeah, he but just... he wasn't really expecting it, right? Okay. I but, mean, true, but that, if anything, bro. that proves Jason's point that he, you know, he talks he Sasuke well. Yeah. <laughs> Don't give your opponent. That's where we go back to, like, the teacher part, so. Okay, this is interesting because this debate turned up being who's a good teacher and fighter. So let's, let me rephrase the question then. I guess who's the better teacher then, boys? I mean, Jiraiya. Bro. All yeah. right, Jiraiya, Jiraiya. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah. 100% Oshimaru hands wasn't down. really even a teacher. He just kind of like gave a curse mark. More of a manipulator. Then, and then was like, yeah, bro, I'll give you more power here. You take my, I'm going to suck you up and <laughs> give you more power. That That's what really. No, I mean, to did. be fair, I mean, Sasuke reversed the whole suck up thing. Yeah, and he was too. like, well, okay, thanks for the power. Now I'm going to beat you. I'm not going to let you take my body. And I'm actually going to. And it know, did help Sasuke yeah. fight against Itachi, you know, so. Well, yeah. that, isn't that because like uh sasuke like or no, orochimaru just put something in sasuke last no, minute no 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 he didn't remember uh it was just the curse mark just coming out last like just so remember he t remember uh when sasuke fought orochimaru orochimaru was already trying to start the transfer process yeah he was and then when sasuke cut up his body he did that snake form right to try right. to take over and in that sasuke used a sharing gun to reverse the process and end up absorbing orochimaru Smart, right other way right he did yeah and he still yeah. had orochimaru shot because remember he, he was still, he, he I think, uh, uh, what was it? After fighting nah, against Orochimaru, he was still mm. injured, but he recovered really quickly. And Karin and them noticed that, like, oh, yeah, you're recovering quickly from your bout against Orochimaru and everything like that as well. Right. Oh, no, against Deidara. Remember, yeah. he fought against Deidara. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did get injured, but he got he recovered a lot faster because he had Orochimaru in him at that in time. Him. Right? Yeah, yeah, he did. But I remember, Itachi took it out when Orochimaru rose because Sasuke ran out of chakra with the curse mark after doing Kirin the whole fight between them. Right, right. So, so yeah. Yeah, man. Well, I mean, when you put the question like that, I, st I don't know. Jiraiya's, Jiraiya's definitely the better teacher, so. I, yeah, I, I think we'd agree that Jason holds firm on Jiraiya being, you know, the, the fighter, but me and Alan think Orochimaru would win in the, in the fight to the dead just because of the, you know, his whole bit about immortality, just insane. But Jiraiya, I agree, is for cunning for cunning. I think he's the more cunning fighter, which ultimately, until they put it on the show, we won't know for sure. But we, we here uh, side with Snake Lord Orochimaru. My boy is a Toad Sage right here, so respect to the Toad Sage. Just respect to the snake homie let's go <laughs> <laughs> i'm kidding bro you might be my, my Yo, homie what the hell? you don't need to still uh, be a homie you know what i mean <laughs> but guys thank you guys for participating and you know engaging in the channel we love talking about stuff like this because it keeps us engaged it gives us stuff to think about more of the series and appreciate the series as a whole even more so guys if you love more of this kind of content leave a comment below on more matches uh, or matchups you want to see and our opinions on those matchups as well as anything you want us to talk about for Naruto But guys, please, you know enjoy our reactions and you know back to the show Hey, y'all we're back from reacting Naruto shipping episode 268 through 70 guys We went through a lot today. We got to see the gold and silver brothers from the clouds We got to know that apparently if you're special enough and can eat tail beast flesh You can get some cool chakra powers <laughs> too. We got to see a little bit more about Darui saw black lightning black panther that was pretty crazy too and finally the episode ends off with asuma showing up at the end so it's crazy to see what could happen but guys let's talk about today's episode you know we got a lot on this week's episode so before we kind of dive into what your favorite parts are and everything like that what was your kind of what was your highlight moment for this week's episode because for me 
I love sure the action was super great seeing some of the Lord dump but seeing Ino Shikacho debut was really the new generation of Ino Shikacho coming and pretty much use strategy to wipe off you know King Kaku was pretty crazy so guys let me know what was your guys' favorite moments who's your favorite action but well, mostly I think what was your favorite little bit of strategy for this week's episode who wants to go first the, go. the Black Panther <laughs> that's literally like when I saw that I thought that was so cool I, and then he did it, the double Black Panther. That was even cooler. Yeah, bro. Um, that was, I think, one of the biggest highlights to me. Another thing was like, it, it, it um, it was more about the uh, the 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 silver and gold brothers. Yeah. They uh, how they got the nine tails chakra was really cool. Like they ate the his intestine, no, his, his stomach, stomach lining, lining, which is <laughs> not, that's actually really crazy. Like yeah, I, because. And now I'm I'm seeing more of like the gore, uh, not gore, but like the the what? Okay, no, actually more gore aspects kind of kick up because like we see a uh, Kakuzu like rip out someone's heart. heart. Yeah, yeah, bro. Even you saw in the medical tent, you saw someone with a hole getting blasted yeah. on the other side too. This is war though, right? We're seeing it. Yeah. Like, you can't just have you know NPC white zets who's being the ones like can't. Can't. Yeah. Right? Cause I, oh well, my question is like, when am I gonna see a main character death? You know. That's mm, a good question. Hey, bro, this is war. Right? I mean, uh, yeah. I, I mean, mean, I better start seeing some main character deaths. Too. Hey, man. <laughs> see. I don't know, man. I'm not gonna say nothing. But just, not you know. not just a white zet who's a uh, NPC uh, <laughs> NPC Shinobis. Shinobis. yeah <laughs> oh. so yeah and then so yeah seeing the you know she could show like getting ready to fight awesome oh yeah well it's gonna be like a very emotional part I can tell you that it's gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be yeah it's gonna be really tough for Shikamaru because that was his like his idol yeah bro for sure. father figure too no for sure for sure but no Alan appreciate your feedback on that and uh Jason what were your thoughts bro give me your highlights what was your favorite action scene what was some of the things that you loved from this week's episode um honestly I think I like the uh the Ki Ki what is those King the girl called the Golden Silver Brothers oh, uh, and the brothers' that. names are King Kaku Gen Kaku but yeah you can just call them Golden Brothers yeah the, dude the Golden Brothers man like these are some weird abilities that I've never seen in my life like mm -hmm. who the hell thinks like oh yeah say your favorite word you're gonna literally get trapped in my gourd like what <laughs> but honestly like those two were probably my favorite like characters and favorite abilities that i saw because mm -hmm. those are things that you people don't think about as like abilities you mm -hmm. think like oh fire or you know we we've seen so many different abilities in the show but that is like so unique in its own way and on top of that they also have nine tail chakra too it's yeah, like bro. dude what it, honestly i thought they were like that um the Black Panther, what's that guy's name? Darwi. Darwi. I honestly thought Darwi was gonna die because like <laughs> they he his teammates got captured, and then he already said his word and he was gonna get captured and uh, he's on the way, and I don't understand how that works. Like how was he able to switch his word last minute? Well, remember the jutsu itself. So the gourd works. Well, how the whole jutsu works itself is like, okay. The rope once you touch the rope yeah it then like okay your word's gonna come out from here and then right. the sword splits the word, word and, and once the jar in. takes and records the word the sword will show the word what it is right all it, it just takes in the what it, what happens is is that it takes in the word you most use okay however dari kept apologizing this whole time right and his first and second word switched meaning his first fa favorite word was dull and the first time you even see him introduce the naruto during part two during the kage summit right he kept saying oh this is so dull and all yeah, that yeah, yeah. right However, he since he kept apologizing, he remember even during that part when he gets first introduced, he was saying apologizing for Raikage just right. going destroying stuff too. Right. So we see here Dol and Sorry from way early on. You're not supposed to know that either way, but the fact is, even King Kaku and Gin Kaku said the first time they were surprised that like someone's word switch. Meaning, Switched, yeah. Dari was just straight like, and during the whole time getting sucked, he was like, "Oh my God, I'm sorry, my homies. Sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. sorry, bro." He was very remorseful, and then the words like, "All right, bro, you guys, you really sorry. I guess your new word's sorry now," because he just kept saying it over right, and over right. again. And if the Jutsu records their first word, the, the word you say most often that switches, he didn't even say it at that point, but he kept saying in there. It was once the word switched itself, and then he was like, "Okay, since the word switched." We're not sucking you in now because you didn't even say your word, word. now right oh. now. So he was able to get away because the gore couldn't suck him in because his word changed. At word that changed. Point. Okay. Yeah. See, that is some craziness with just like, now we got English and shit in here, like with <laughs> the adjectives and whatever. Math, math and shit. Oh. Huh? Math, English, math, chemistry. Yeah, oh. for real, bro. We got like all the subjects. Like, I guess maybe that, I understand why you were watching Naruto, bro. You were <laughs> learning your school through Naruto. Yeah, bro. What do you think I graduated? <laughs> <laughs> but dude, it, it, it's craziness, man. And what was the other question you had? You said, uh, just, yeah, your favorite moment or favorite bit of strategy as well. Um, I think my favorite, uh, man, honestly, favorite strategy has 
has to be like uh shikamaru and you know bro yeah like that, that was actually really cool. yeah, yeah that that was some crazy like because i'm like oh shit dude his shadow clone isn't or her shadow uh bind isn't working like yeah. they couldn't capture him but then you know used her a bit like i kind of forgot that she had that ability yeah the mind transfer yeah the mind trans bro that is some next level like they and the, they were like oh we got the kids man everyone's <laughs> complaining i'm like damn like y'all really don't hate, don't like any support like at least they're coming to help and but well, they're like bro i want the veterans i want, yeah, your, I want your pops why are you why are they sending <laughs> the juniors out here bro Yo, why the kids man but dude they they showed up and they they captured him bro mm. and honestly the even that uh the amber amber jar yeah yeah that shit's that shit's cool too like we didn't we never heard of anything like that so it was yeah because cool to... the funny thing is you're right because all the tools were brought up today right yeah all five of them right actually one of the tools you forgot was the fan which lets you use mm, all five about to pick yeah, yeah she saw that and she was like oh a press <laughs> and what was a press square to add in your inventory yeah. <laughs> <laughs> press square to add. Uh, but remember guys yeah. they said that those chakra those weapons were used by the sage of six paths meaning they have such a huge chakra drain on you right which is why only King Kong and King Kaku were the ones able to use it? Because remember, they had the regular chakra, right? Which probably mm -hmm. absorbed, but they also remember eight and nine tails nine chakra yeah. too. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I thought that was crazy too. But yeah, basically. yeah, man, yeah. I think that that's that was my like favorite like strategy, bro. That insaneness, man. No, nah, man, I would have to agree because like I, I, yeah, the strategy for me, same thing with Inoshika Cho. I did appreciate some of the word like the the word lingo and all yeah. that stuff. It was like a game of Wheel of Fortune, except <laughs> you better if you miss, you die. You yeah. really bankrupt your soul. You you. Get fucking sucked in, yeah. but that, that was crazy because like it showed like you were saying a different side to the ninja It was like, right. bro, like we see them like fire style, water style, and even Keke Genkai, Keke Toda. But then we got to see some, you know, even the some sacred cool ninja tools there that have some cool abilities. Mm -hmm. Thought that was cool. But like you were saying too, like you both mentioned the the strategy with Inoshika Cho was crazy because it's funny because this is now the second session where we saw like the shadow possession be really mm -hmm. incremental, right? Yeah. Because Kakashi used it with Ino with another Yamanaka yes. clan member, yeah. right? The Inoshika Cho, yeah, they're the, they're the heads of their clans, but remember they still have other clan members too. So we seeing shadow possession, yeah, the main line and the in the air apparent for their jutsu there too, right? But even in last week's episode, we saw the mind transfer as well as their shadow possession with Kakashi using mm, it as well, yeah. which is crazy, right? Because even then, like, yeah it's cool because like even the other clan members have either other members in their clan they're using this jutsu right. for the for helping in the war and then the main you know the people the heir apparent for ina she could show using it next level but in the heat of battle as well is crazy so we're seeing how much even one clan can impact a whole war different battlefields right that's true not just that three well, not even because choji was choji's we didn't see the akamichi clan the choji's clan there for kakashi's battle yeah. but even so we still got to see at least two of the three in she could show family members represent Mm -hmm. still crazy to see right yeah. and then even so like i, I thought it was cool because now we get to see like ina shika cho get certified on the battlefield right there <laughs> shikaku even said new legends are made when you go all out like that right <laughs> and they got their legend in i guess but now they got to fight against their master so how long yeah. will that legend hold up yep. that's gonna be crazy their master who's reanimated can't die oh it happens to be the one that taught them so let i mean hey who would think they know their greatest weaknesses too probably their Honestly, master yeah, right? yeah. True, so true. let's see and the last time they saw them was pretty like yeah last time i also saw them was then you know he, he died yeah. fighting against kakazu so yeah. now again maybe they've improved a lot but we'll see how much they improve hopefully next week so yeah. guys you have any more thoughts on this week's episode nope oh, man Guys, we're wrapping up here. Thank you for watching another episode of Airborne Naruto Shipping with the boys here. Because if you video like, subscribe, share, because we've got plenty more Naruto on the way. Guys, so far, though, how are you liking the Great Ninja War right now? Crazy, Crazy. A lot of strats being used, but <laughs> I need to see some deaths, man. I need yeah. some <laughs> hey, man, maybe your wish will begin, and we'll see. But, guys, we'll wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching another episode of Naruto Shipping. I'm your host, George, and my co host here. Alan. Jason. Y'all have a good one. Peace. <laughs>